And we return our conversation with Gerald Salenti, who is kind enough to spend an hour with us once a month, and he tells it exactly like it really is. Obama never speaks an unscripted word. Correct. And by the way, you, if you want to talk about a disgusting spectacle, all you had to do is watch him on The View, gaggling it up with a bunch of hens. Oh, no, about no thanks. I, I heard about that, and I, I honestly, if I were into self abuse, I probably would have watched well, it. Well, I had to watch it, you know, but so I watch it on YouTube after it's on. And it, here, here's the, you know, America's become, as we call it, snooky stupid. Here he is fielding questions about. Lindsay, Lindsay Lohan, Mel Gibson, uh, this, this little thing, Snooky, this stupid little thing. And here men and women are dying overseas, draining our treasury, and it's just disgusting. And, you know, we were talking before about the Federal Reserve and where the economy is going, and we forecast the coming great, the greatest depression. It's underway, and it's happening. These people, folks, know exactly what's coming, and what's coming is the next big, what do you call it, Greenspan calls it a dip, a double dip. Come on, give me a break. This thing is going, going, going fast. Well, I want to see the trial of, of the people versus George W. Bush. Yeah. I want to know why we went to this war when it's proven that there were no weapons of mass destruction. How about ending these immoral wars overseas? How about stopping the draining of our treasury as we're engaged in foreign entanglements and our country is sinking? Not a peep. Nuclear weapon. Nuclear weapon. Nuclear weapon. Those weapons of mass destruction got to be somewhere. <laughs> what did Iraq have to do with what? The attack on the World Trade Center. Nothing.